Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my studio. I've seen a lot of posts on Instagram and YouTube about the trouble people have with small studio spaces. And I have actually had a trouble with small studio spaces for like ever. Since the beginning of my time, I've been dealing with this. So I'm gonna be walking you through my studio, which I think I have finally figured it out. And I hope that you'll be able to see what I've done in my space. In my space, not in my space. Like, it's not social media. Never mind. I hope that you can see what I've done in my studio and maybe apply some of the things that I've done to help you out in yours. Um, I've been struggling with this for a really long time in our old place. My husband and I rented an apartment and I had like the corner of a loft area that was designated to my art stuff, which I have no idea how I kept it so like tidy because I own a small craft store. I do, I really do. And so I thought I'd show you the things that I've done and hopefully you'll get some ideas from it. It's a really tiny, small bedroom. So I had to really make use of the little space that I have. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any things that you've done to help yourself out in your small area, help somebody out by, you know, hopefully somebody will read the comments and see this video and they'll be able to learn from this video and from your comments. And I'd love to read them because you might be helping me out. So anyways, uh, let's get into this. Okay, so let's go into the studio and I'll show you the best items um, that I've found that have helped my studio seem a little bit bigger. Number one, camping chairs. <laughs> I know it sounds so funny, but it is awesome for when it feels cramped because you can just like fold it up and put it to the side. And so that's really nice. At one point I was thinking about having like a normal, like, lounger chair in here and I realized I have a tiny little studio so that's great um I did throw that fabric over it just so it wasn't like hey I'm staring right at a camping chair I don't know it just made me feel better it made me feel like it actually sort of looked like a real chair um so here let me back it up so I actually turned the closet space into my office space. So I took off the doors and lowered the shelf that was usually, it would be right where that other shelf is right above it. I lowered it down so that it was like a desktop and um, then later added these other shelves. Let me move this so you can actually see. And all of the things that I use very, very rarely are located up there because I I don't know if you guys know how tall I am, but I'm five feet exactly. I'm not a tall woman. <laughs> so, um, things that I still wanted to keep for reference or for crafting or whatever still are here. They're just tucked away a little bit. Um, all of my packaging stuff is down in this shelf and I was able to tuck away my camera in the corner of this closet area. Um, so all the office supplies and all that stuff are here. Um, so there's the trash can and then that is actually Kat's cat box. Um, she spends all of her time here pretty much, except for right now she's probably out murdering some poor mice or birds or something. That, crazy cat, poor things. Anyways, um, so I put the fabric over it so that you couldn't, like, I couldn't see it because I didn't want to stare at it all the time. Um, so this shelving unit is the best thing on planet Earth for me organizing my small little studio space. Um, 
I love it because it's not super deep. Um, so like, it's like maybe a foot wide, maybe a little more than a foot wide, but it doesn't take up a ton of my space, but it does get rid of a ton of my crap. I mean, like, look at all that crap. That's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so I keep all of my like oil mediums, like Liquin and Gamsel and stuff like that in there. Um, this box right here is my acrylics. This box right here is my oil stuff, like my oil paints, I mean. Um, my primer, my gesso, my um, oil brushes, then my big brushes that are alternating oil acrylic, and then my acrylic paint brushes. Um, and then I do have these glorious Harry Potter paint brushes. Oh my gosh, my husband got them for me. I'm a total Potterhead. They are, oh, I'm just, I'm I'm like so excited. I can't even, I can't even, no, I can't. Look how cute they are. Little wands. Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to calm myself down for a second. Wow, that got me excited. <laughs> um, and then I have sewing, sewing stuff. Um, my traveling easel and all of my reference books and extra um, sketchbooks, and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for over here. I do have a couple of paintings on the walls to keep those protected and out of the way, and the next awesome thing is this contraption that my husband put together. Um, it's awesome for storing away finished paintings, uh, paintings that have just infuriated me so bad, so bad that I needed to like put them away for a bit so I could come back to them later. Um, and then I have this clothesline set up and this is awesome for paper paintings. So while they're drying, um, I can clip them up there, especially since Kat is always, always wanting to walk over my stuff. Um, I really don't know why cats do that, but it's like, oh, hey, this is not supposed to be stepped on. I'm going to step on it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think she actually thinks that, but who knows? Um, it's also awesome because I can like hang wet paintbrushes from it. I like to dry my paintbrushes by hanging them upside down and that does it. Um, and then down here in like the very, very corner of the room I have uh, canvases and all of my like big paper pads um, my portfolio that I keep uh, completed paper paintings in and drawings and all of that and then um, since I have so much art supplies these things are amazing I mean seriously so great um, it's all organized by category of medium and then, uh, the higher level it is, the more often I use it, the lower it is in the shelf, the less often I use it. You know, pretty self-explanatory. All of my plants. I love my plants so much. Mm. Anyways, then I also have a filing cabinet because there is a lot of business side to being an artist. And it also has like mine and my husband's personal stuff in it. Um, and then on top of that, all of my cameras are sitting there. Uh, I keep my bins here. These bins I use for when I'm out and about painting outdoors or something. And once you leave, you have to have it somewhere so that it doesn't get messed up while it's still wet. I mean, cause I always take, I'm primarily oil paint. I have acrylics, rarely use those. Um, and I have watercolors, but those are mainly for my pet portraits. And <laughs> I don't go anywhere to do those. Those are all created in the studio. So um, this is my main easel 
Oh, and more plants. <laughs> I love them. Um, so this is my main easel. It's it's kind of a behemoth of a thing, but that's there. And so when I sit and paint, that's where I'm gonna be at. This bucket is like a 99 cent Easter basket bucket thing. <laughs> and um, I have that uh, hanging from some, some hooks on the side of the easel. And it's really awesome because you can just clear your palette while you're sitting there and then just dump it into that bucket. I should probably empty it out. Look how full it is. <laughs> Clearly I don't do that very often. Um, and then I have some more lighting and my soft box just like goes up against the wall. Um, and then of course some more plants. And um, I try to hang as many paintings on the wall as possible. I actually need to put up, put, there's actually a couple missing actually right now cause they're being varnished. And so those are actually in our guest bedroom. Should probably bring those back to in here, but yeah, I try to put as many paintings on the wall as possible just to, you know, not have them all laying around and um, it just kind of makes more space. Also, I have this table with more plants <laughs> and this little stool, which doesn't take up a lot of space at all. It's actually a mechanics stool. Um, it rises up and down. I actually got it from my husband um, and I just put some fabric over it so that I wasn't looking at grease stains all the time. <laughs> um, and so over here, excuse all the cords, I'm trying to figure out what to do with those bad boys. Um, okay, so in this box, I have reference photos or reference material, I should say. So I get a ton of magazines in the mail and I don't know why because I did not sign up for them. Don't ask me, but any magazines, newspapers, uh, random printouts with pictures on them, anything that I think gives inspiration, I put in this box. And it's awesome because um, this also duels as a like miniature table. So while I'm sitting on this stool, which is normally lower than that, and I'm sitting at the easel, I can have this guy over there with me and I can just set stuff on it. Like, um, you know, like my palette or my paint brushes or whatever the heck I'm using at that time. So it's really nice it that it multi, it's multi-purpose. <laughs> what the? Sorry guys, I cannot talk right now. It has dual purposes. Uh, real quick, I did want to show you this. Let me move my door stopper. Um, behind the door, I've been able to make use of this space and keep my other easel, which Honestly, this is my favorite easel. Um, I've debated getting rid, of, getting rid of the other one and just using this one, but I can't bring myself to do it because I use both of them. I love having two easels. There's just not enough space to always have it out. And then the last thing I wanted to show you that helps me with my space and stuff is this shelf. I put hooks on the bottom of it. Um, so it was some sort of countertop shelf and I can now hang my variety of smocks and my hat for when my hair is going crazy and wants to get in my paint. So that is pretty much it. I thought about talking about every single last aspect of this place, but I realized really, we just need to talk about things that are for organization so the shelf the closet office which I love that was the most brilliant idea I've ever had um, the shelving unit with 
the hooks to hang things. And um, guys, that's a really big deal. The fact that I can put all of those paintings up there and make use of space that would otherwise be unreachable is a pretty big deal. Way to go, my husband. He's great. Um, and then a really nice shelving unit. I recommend you guys get one of those and something that's not too beefy either. Um, cause you still want to be able to walk around the space. And that is pretty much it. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped. If you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. At least I know that I need to work on something. You know, constructive criticism and whatnot. If you did enjoy this video, subscribe. Did I already say subscribe? Eh, subscribe, please. And um, I hope you have a splendid day and a splendid night. And I will see you next time. Bye.